Pastor Paul Moses. And I want to bring prayer today from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. In this year, 2015, every vision that the Lord gave you, he revitalizes. Favor comes upon you, he blows his grace upon your life. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for everyone here who is listening. We decree and declare, even in the place of prayer, that every dream lives again, that every vision is revitalized. Father, we say that this is a year of great success. Father Lord, this year of the whirlwind, Father Lord God, we decree that even as you move and shift, Father Lord God, you position your people in the place of victory. Father God, we say that even as one's trust in you this year, Father Lord God, that nothing shall be impossible. We decree breakthrough. We declare prosperity. We say, Father Lord God, visions and dreams, Father Lord God, insight into the things of God. Father Lord God, that your people move forward in new dimensions this year for your glory. In Jesus' name. Hello, I'm Minister Sandra Wilson, and I'll be praying from Isaiah 61, verse 4. Well, the word of God says, they will rebuild the ancient ruins, repairing cities destroyed long ago, and they will revive them, though they have been deserted for many generations. We declare and we proclaim right now the whirlwind of God upon every ruin, every ancient ruin that comes from families, every situation that someone has, has given up on. That Lord, we pray your life into it. We declare life. We speak to the dry bones in every valley, every valley of, of hopelessness, every valley of destitution, every valley where people have given up hope on. Lord, we speak light to those situations that this year God shall breathe upon those situations. God shall breathe, there shall be life, there shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. We declare that the things, the former things, even generations, of your family, whether it's poverty, whether it's sickness, those things will be cut off in your generation in the name of Jesus Christ. So where there's lack, there will be prosperity. Where there's sickness, there will be healing. Where there's hopelessness, there will be hope. Where there's lack, there will be renewed hope and joy in Jesus Christ. We're going to receive the restoration hand of Jesus Christ upon a situation in your life. We're going to see miracles and wonders unprecedented in the year 2015. We're going to know that Jesus Christ is still doing the miracles he did even 2,000 years ago. The dead shall rise in the name of Jesus. The blind shall see. It shall be a common thing this year throughout the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Those who've been entangled in bondages for generations, even families, even individuals, they shall see a change in their lives, renewed hope in Jesus Christ. We shall see this restoration throughout the body of Christ as we agree with you in prayer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Now one of you out there, someone out there, the Holy Spirit says to you, begin again, do it again. The vision that he gave you was not a lie. It did not come, it did not come by imagination. It came directly from you, from him. In this year, do it again. In this year, step out again. That woman that's crying out concerning her family, the Lord says, this year, you will see that son come home. In this year, there will be household restoration. There is family salvation. It is not too late. It is not too late. Do it again. Step out again. We say, sing and be exceedingly glad. For in this year, you will see the restoration of your home. You will see the restoration of your family. I speak to that man, that young man in the hospital bed, the Lord says that even that foot, that foot that was injured, that foot that was injured in that accident, it's not over. You will play again. You will play football again. You will run again. You will run again. I speak to that person who took that exam. This is your sixth time. This is your year of victory. It's your year of success in the name of Jesus. Yes. And right now, speak to that woman now who've had a bad report from the doctor's office this morning. I want hmm. to declare to you that God has a good report for you. And he declares that you shall live and not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. God says, trust upon him, lean upon him. He said, he's never forsaken you. He goes, trust in his word. He said, you will live. He said, you shall live. You shall live. Indeed, you shall live. And you will declare in your church and stand and proclaim 
that Jesus is Lord because he's seen you through this time. Don't give up. God is on your side. And it's, and it's a very good report. Let me remind you, it's a very, very good report. Young woman, it's not too hard for the Lord. It's not too hard for the Lord. In this year, in this year, you will be married. You will be married. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. Say not, how can this thing be? For the Lord Himself will make it come to pass. There's a woman, another woman there, and there's issues with papers. And you've been praying and asking God to resolve this issue. God said in the year 2015, there shall be a miracle done on your behalf because God has just chosen to favor you. There's a good report coming in relation to papers. There's a good report coming that no longer would live in fear. No longer will you be hiding. But God says this year you have received your deliverance in Jesus name. We also come against the spirit of divorce. In this year, we say that every Christian marriage is strengthened. We say strength comes. Strength comes to your marriage. Strength comes to your home. We come against everything that would come to bring torment, to bring suffering, to bring struggle. We come against the spirit of putting asunder. We say that which the Lord joined together shall not be put asunder. Your marriage receives strength. Your marriage receives grace. We decree and declare that Jesus Christ, the Lord of your marriage, fights for you against anything that would seek to put it apart. Receive the grace of the Lord. Receive the grace of the Lord. Stand for the power of God is at work to strengthen and to keep your marriage in the name of Jesus. And we pray right now against anti, any anti-marriage um, demonic force that is attacking that particular marriage and any other marriage out there right now. We just uh, ask God right now to put his hedge of protection around every Christian marriage right now. That every hedge of protection is reinforced right now. That every um, anti-marriage force, even generational issues that have come up into marriages, which is threatening marriages right now, even a particular marriage right now, where the, where the man has actually walked out of the house and he's actually sitting there contemplating, should he return? Should he return? And in the name of Jesus, Lord is saying, you return because God is going to restore your marriage. He's going to restore your relationship with your wife. It's going to restore your home. It's going to restore your children back to be obedient. Father, we thank you right now for your restorative power that is healing his heart, even softening his heart towards his wife, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for restoration, for healing, Father, to come in together in unity, Lord. And we ask you to bridge that gap in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we speak comfort to you and we say fear not you will not lose your home in 2015 you will be established you will have another job you will not lose your home we speak protection protection from bankruptcy we speak protection protection from the bailiff we say that you will not lose your home fear not the Lord says in this year he will re-establish you he will give you the work of your hands in the name of Jesus we pray right now against every demonic power that is trying to project any any kind of uh, unstableness or any sickness into anybody's mind right now in the name of Jesus. We say that you have the mind of Christ in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord God, that I superimpose right now upon every every mind of every believer the, the helmet of salvation, Father God, that, that, that protects and, and, and protects the mind. We speak right now that the mind of Christ, Father God, is in every believer's head right now. Right now we come against every attack every thought every projection of the enemy father god that will bring confusion that will bring depression that will bring father in any kind of terror of the mind father any onslaught of the enemy that will bring terror and fear lord uh, onto the minds of your people father we come against that in the name of jesus we rebuke that in the name of jesus we speak soundness of mind right now we speak peace of mind right now we we speak right now in the name of jesus christ father god that their mind be protected with the blood of Jesus Amen. as a shield in Jesus' name. Amen. We say that the love of God surrounds you round about in, the name of in Jesus, Jesus' name. name. Amen. Amen. Amen.